So with these truths in mind, let us parse the verses from 1 Kings 11. Just briefly parse them. We can go further in detail, but we're just going to mention one or two points as we walk through just these four verses. But, the, but King Solomon loved many strange women, together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, the Ammonites, the Edomites, and the Zidonians, and the Hittites, or Hittites. Well, love here refers to the nature of the woman as the second self of the originator and her immeasurable value in producing the kingdom of Allah, meaning that Solomon saw value in God's second self. The woman is God's second self, not just the black woman, but any woman. If you are a woman, you are the second self of God and you produce human beings that populate the earth. So Solomon understood that. And when you understand that principle and your reign is to establish God's kingdom on earth, then naturally you have to be vested in the interests of all women in their elevation and development. That's the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. Verse 2. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, ye shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you. For surely they will turn, you, uh, turn away your heart after their gods. Solomon clave unto these in love. Well, again, Solomon had a different mission than David, as emphasized. Now, this relates to Sur 66 of the Holy Quran called the prohibition, where Allah allows Prophet Muhammad to do something in his domestic life that he disallows the children of Israel generally to do. We'll get to that, inshallah, in the next message. Verse 3. And he, Solomon, had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. Now, of course, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan does not have 700 wives and 300 concubines. This refers to the, his governance in one sense. It refers to his governance over the MGT and GCC class, the Muslim girls training class in the general civilization class, which is defined according to Master Farah Muhammad, the founder of the class, in the supreme wisdom as follows. This was the name, MGTGCC, given to the training of women and girls in North America. How to keep house, how to rear their children, how to take care of their husbands, so cook and in general, how to act at home and abroad. Now, there is no mention of race, creed or color in that definition of MGT and GCC. Again, Muslim girls training and generalist general civilization class. Why? So what did Master Far Muhammad have in mind? Well, he desires to make North America a prototype of the kingdom of God that is to spread throughout the earth, starting with his chosen people and then spreading throughout the earth. Now, let's continue with the last verse. And it came to pass when Solomon was old that his wives turned away his heart after other gods and his heart was not perfect with the Lord, his God, as was the heart of David, his father. Now, old is not talking about Solomon being an old man. Old is talking about the maturation of the Messiah into the knowledge of his messianic mission. Which, again, is the building of God's kingdom coming through women, period throughout the entire earth. So 
This verse aligns with the Honorable Louis Farrakhan's focus on the destiny of women as the foundation of Allah's eternal kingdom. And he does not have competing interests or competing agendas or missions. That's what is meant by that, that phrase where it says, and his wives turn away his heart after other gods, meaning that that's an enormity of a focus. So you don't have competing interests and God's is in a little G. This verse also applies to his perfection. The Honorable Louis Farrakhan's perfection as the eminent Christ through the domestic life. So his heart was not perfect with the Lord, his God. That's a gradual process and perfection is gained as one walks and makes progress in their mission. You can't be perfect unless you're perfect in what you're called to do.